Hello. Welcome, this is Pet Tutorials. Sorry, I want to apologize for not being able to upload some tutorials recently. This is due to my tight schedules. Alright, one of my. Listen, someone asked me to do this particular picture to convert this particular picture into a vector into a this in code file for him so i'm going to run one to it uh, a little tutorial on how to convert this particular picture and to cd core draw file but one thing we have to notice when selecting pictures we are want that we want to do this in convert is the clearability of the, this picture like now in this picture on main sense is actually clear to be used in this thing but when it comes to converting it to into a corridor file so that it can be edited edited easily this particular picture like for example let me see zoom out this you can see that i can't really pick what is written here and when i now convert this into art there will be some uh, changes a little changes in this whereby we make the work actually difficult to come out work but for the sake of tutorial sake I'm going to run help tutorials, a little tutorial on how to do convert this into the normal corridor file. Without wasting of time, let's just start right away. Going to bitmap, then come to trace bitmap. Then I'm going to select my line. I'm going to select line art. Okay, this picture is actually a heavy picture, so I'm going to wait a little while for it to load and pop up, pop up all right here is it this is the result the pop it has pop up now when you look at the we have before and we have the initial after us after the whole tracing this is what we are going to get now this is we are making this is the pop up this thing we have the power this is our power trace pop up icon this from here we can easily trace this original image to get whatever we want to get from here now i'm going to let me zoom this a little out okay let me say i want to do something i'm going to increase taking time all right we now have this this way this is how it looks like now i'm going to zoom this out so that we'll see how the difference you can now see what we have here that's why i say even doing this we should get a picture that is quite large enough in terms of how we should we were able to get this particular Part separately on its own and this side also separately it will be easier for us when by the time we do the necessary tracing if the image will come out a bit clearer than how we can see it here but we are going to still see how to do apply some little work you can see now like now the details in this particular part is not yet out fully well so what we are going to just do is to increase this particular add a little bit add details to it and increasing it to full details then the smoothness i'm going to increase the smoothness now we are going to wait for it to load and bring out the result of what we we'll have here as our final work okay you can now see that after everything this is what we have now there are more details to this compared to how it was initially now you can see like now this part of this place now you can see that at least we now have something a little bit similar to what we are having in this particular side okay now i'm going to return it back so you see this is where i'm saying you can see the difference a little there's a little difference due to the tiny 
part of the uh, effect of this our work now what i'm going to do is, do is to click and enter and select ok that's all it's going to load and bring out the our new trace picture for us let's just wait a little while it loads and brings out the result for us okay now see it has finished loading this is what we are having now you can now shift this a little so you, can, you now see and i have something like almost the duplicate of what i'm having in this particular place now this is where you can now see the difference between this slight difference between them that i'm telling you you can see the work I zoomed it out for you to see how it is. I use it. That's everything. Now. now, from this particular one, let me see. You can see it's be a group together. I can easily ungroup what we have in this place. You can see gradually it's ungrouping everything together. So I can give you a step, bring out this color. And now, I can easily bring out any part of this shape that I need let me see this part now okay, let me see now I can easily click on this green and bring this green out you can now see it's a different shape entirely on its own I can now insert maybe perhaps I want to change the color I can do that to it insert any color to it how any how I want it I can manipulate it play around with the colors alright I guess you've learned from this particular segment of this tutorial but I'm going to show you some other thing here using a different shape now I'm going to make you lucky let me see um, a particular okay. Okay, let me see. I'm using this now. This is the image I'm using. Now I can do the same thing to this particular image I'm having here. As you can see, it's a normal picture. I just got this is a normal picture so I can do the same thing to see, to see. sorry click on the wrong thing so I need to go again then line art so I'll just wait for it to pop up once it pops out you can see just to wait a little for the image to load and bring out the results for me. Can I see? This is the result of what I'm having here. I'm maintaining the same details now I'm going to let me say increase the details a little then if possibly I'm going to let me say with full smoking yeah I'll just wait for it to load and see okay you can now see now this part quite different from how it was before now simply just want to strike my enter it's going to load and bring out the new result of my new listen so it's taking quite long to load and come out it's coming okay it's done Okay, now 
can now separate this on its own so we now see we now have two different this is actually looking almost like what we have in this particular part of this drawing now as i said i can ungroup everything and decide to it's now a different work so now for me i can take any part i want out and give me part any color i will to give and then see i give this the yellow color i can decide to give it let me say black now see so that's just it that's how we manipulate around all this i can take this part, all of this out same thing all right hope you've learned from this series of this thing. until next time if anyone that has questions to ask you can drop it on the comment box below you can also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and remember as i said earlier always ensure we have a picture bright and clear enough large enough so that whenever we are converting into a jpeg picture is going to still give us maintain the right distance we actually need it's so that it won't change in terms of like the font or the whole font size in our of our text they will come out very well that's why i said always ensure that get a clear and bold picture so that it will be able to work perfectly well all right until next time bye for now check out some other of my videos i'll get back to each and every one of you that asks any of question concerning any difficult part of this tutorials and you can also drop any question relating to any particular aspect of the tutorial you want me to run for you and i'll try my best and get in work on each and every one of them and send you back all right thank you till next time bye